Thank you. I can read. This game contains violence, coarse language, and sexuality. Player discussion is advised. Alright. Emily, there's a doctor here to see you. Hello, Emily. I'm Dr. Winters. How are you feeling today? Nice thing. Okay. That's good. Emily, I just want to ask you a few questions. Is that about. okay with you? I was just watching the ring. Okay. It, I, this isn't gonna Do you know me. why you're here? That movie no. surprised me. Do you remember what happened before you Let came me guess. To you hospital? forgot about coming here, didn't you? Yes. Uh, well, it was like a mixture of forgetting and sleeping. <laughs> no. What time do you wake up? Uh, the story. three o'clock in the morning. Which means I also forgot to pick up my sister. Bad so that was back in the morning. Not in the morning. In the story? Like, PM. Yeah. 3 PM. Okay, wow, but so you have to morning. promise not to tell anyone. Yeah, that's what I Then I have to die. Lips are sealed. What time do you have to pick up your sister? Mother of me, 11, because I didn't pick up my phone. That's how she checked to make sure I'm awake. Don't worry, I'm not always wearing it. No, I used to live in not always wearing what? Oh, cool! That's right, Jack. My grandpa's rich, so... Oh, duh! That's, that's, that's killing me, isn't it? No? My mom and dad were very yeah, happy. That was them before I was born. I'm wonderful. And that's them on vacation. I have to grow up to be as pretty as my mom. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Never done yet. Go, please stop. Okay. My dad said she went to heaven, but I didn't believe in heaven. Why would she go there and leave me here? It was just my dad and me for a while, until an angel came to visit. She told me that demons are coming. She said I was had to what? fight these demons to save me and my dad. I don't know what's happening. Okay. And the angel said the worst demons are the ones that are disguised. They look like ordinary people. Stop. Oh, the angel gave me a special gift to see these Sorry demons. Sorry to listen to the lady. She told me that the Who's demons eating? will look like a woman, and that they will come after my dad. It was my job oh, cool. to protect him. I'm safe. That was hard, because my dad was Just lonely, the and the girl seemed oh, to like him a lot. One night, when I was supposed to be <laughs> in bed, oh, I sent okay, no downstairs to see my dad's girlfriend in the room on the couch. Oh. She I'm must have been involved, because she didn't have a job. My dad keeps talking about how pretty she is, and how she's in love with some of his stuff. I think she looks like a horror though. It's like you're actually press start button. Okay, cool. Just, um, hit start again. I did it! I was sure if you could try, if you could pause this game or not. Okay, I'm dying. Again. Why do we suck at this game? It's not that hard. <laughs> what was she going on about? I wasn't listening, honestly. Start listening because it's really bad. Crazy. Girl. Oh, there's no nope. Okay, I can't duck. That's stupid. Why would I? Help. You're worse than I was the first time I played this. And get a knife. Sh I'm listening! Oh, nice. Then the angel told me to kill her. She okay. said the girl was a demon sent from hell, and the demon was going to kill everyone. That's what I mean. I'll so kill her. So did what any good daughter would do. I killed her. Why can I kill her? Let me kill her. Die. Thank you. What's her name? Mary Minor. Are you dead yet? You look like you should be dead. What's that? Kill it! The fetus. Kill it! It was my first time, so I didn't really know what to do. Nope. So I just kept Stand cutting. It. Duh, obviously. Stab I it! I wanted to send this demon back to hell where it belongs. I think this is actually demon, considering it's doing some weird blue thing. Good job, little girl. You're messed up. I was almost there. I remember seeing the demon get weaker. I felt his energy draining from its body. Yay! Hi, pause the game. Continue. I still don't... Oh, okay, I get it now. After a long time, I finally killed the demon. I made sure the demon was dead, too. Is I think I must have stabbed it, like, tons of times. Sh I'm listening and dying! The angel wow. told me to go outside and break the back window with a rock. Then hide the knife, so I did that as fast as I could. Police are everywhere, and my dad was sad. I felt bad for my dad, but the angel told me I did the right thing. I'm standing outside the home of Carl Ritter, where Mary Miner's body was found. One witness said the body looked like it had been stabbed a hundred times. Mary Miner was a fashion model and was reportedly in a relationship with Carl Ritter. I was hoping it was over and the demons were gone. I just wanted life to go back to normal. A couple months later, we moved into a new home. I didn't notice any demons there, so that was a good sign. My dad would drop me off to school every day. It was a new school and I didn't have any friends to talk to. I was having fun at school until one day I noticed a demon. It wasn't like the ones 
Yeah, it's supposed to say. Is it supposed to be in there? Oh, no. Come back and give me the courage to keep fighting. When teachers started to hang around my dad a lot, oh, she was very nice to me, so we became friends. She would take me out for dessert on weekends. That That's was a lot of fun. Then one day, the angel came to me and told me that I'd been tricked by a demon. Duh, obviously. And she was a demon, and I didn't even know. Well, what's happening? How could I have been She's so stupid? She's punched in the face over and over again. Yeah. Okay, so there's like a prison in there. Wow, Tyler. Touch. I'm sorry. She's a little girl. She's like 11. She's also a serial killer. She's an show. evil slut. The angel told me I had to get rid of the demon before it got away. No, sorry, she stabbed me in the eye over and over again. Said I had to do it after school when all oh, the dear. kids were gone. So one day I went to school with my knife in my backpack. I waited until all the students were gone. Okay, stop. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Stop. No. Okay. I just literally. Oh, yep. I'm dying. I'm gonna die. Help, please. Thank you, sperm demon. I was just doing what the angel told me to do. I was trying to protect my dad. Maybe I don't kill her. She's dying her. Cool. Biggest die. Girl. Dude, our dad works. Wait, holy crap. This, this is years afterwards. Last. I was very scared. The demon's eyes looked scared too, but beneath the body was pure evil. <laughs> I could tell it wasn't really scared. Die! I remember that moment, that moment right before I made the final blow. Yeah. I don't, that was very unmemorable. When I killed this demon, I felt a lot different than when I killed the first demon. Girl. It felt good to kill this one because I knew this one was really, really bad. The angel didn't help me clean up this time. I had to do it all by myself. It's okay because I knew what to do so I wouldn't get in trouble. It's weird because later that night, the police came to take my dad away. I don't know why they keep wanting to see him. I'm standing in front of Franklin Elementary School where the body of Karen O'Dell really? is found. More Officer Lisa Neely described the crime scene as a nightmare too gruesome for words. Carl Ritter has been taken into custody for questioning. I knew my dad didn't wow. do anything, but I still didn't get to see him until the next day. My dad spent a lot of time at the police station after that. I would sometimes go with him or stay at home with the babysitter. I would tell the babysitter about the angel and demon sometimes, oh, of course. but she didn't seem to care. Wow. The babysitter was my only friend, really. She took me to places to get candy and stuff. That was fun. She was really pretty, too. She kind of looks like my mom. One night, she told me Whoa, ghosts whoa, okay. Thank Somehow, you. the demons heard it, too, and they started to send their own ghosts after me. I'm the just angel told me not to worry about the ghosts. I can get rid of ghosts with demon blood. I just okay. had to avoid the ghosts until I can find some demon blood. The, the demon angel blood? helped me avoid them too. She's nice that way. One night, the angel came down and told me all about the demons from hell. She told me the devil wants to walk the earth, but the angels won't let him. She said my dad had special blood, and if I was ever to have a brother, then my brother would be the devil. Cool. You see, the devil has sent his demons to make a baby with my dad so he can walk the earth. I thought I got all the demons, but it turns out there's another. Oh, no. This demon was disguised as a police lady, but she didn't look like a police lady to me. Kill her. She was always with my dad, but never around my house. I think she took him to places to do their grown-up stuff. Well, ah, I avoided that one. night, the police lady was downstairs okay, okay. in the TV room arguing with my dad. They were talking about some kind of test and said something about it being positive. I'm not okay. really sure what they were talking about. The angel told me I didn't have much time, and I had to kill that demon tonight. The angel told me if I didn't, the angel would be forced to kill everyone. So I got my knife, but I was so tired from avoiding those, I didn't think I could do it. So the angel gave me the power to heal myself. Yay! I can't use it often, but when I do, I feel a lot better. I stuck out Continue. Okay. ...of its car. The angel yeah. told me to be careful of this one because it had powerful weapons. Okay. Kill it! 
Where is it? Kill it. Whoa, what? The deer hand. Okay. Okay, sorry. I was going to start singing. Okay. Dude, I am great at this game. This game is easy. I was tired. I wanted to sleep. I I've never seen someone play and not be like, I know. Like, dying at the same time. Yeah. I was dying. I haven't seen anyone die yet in this game. Why wouldn't they just leave me alone? Leave my fucking dad alone. Girl, you the potty now. I am about to be able to heal this. I don't care. I probably wasted that. Actually, don't do that. Yeah, probably not. Don't worry, it has a happy ending. I promise. Got it. There's a... What do you do? Could a fetus out of your own body or something? That sounds like a happy ending. Right before I killed the demon, I told it the devil will never win and that they should just give up. I remember the demon looking shocked. And that's how I got I my demon to. blood to get rid of the ghost. Die! Just after I finished collecting the blood from the demon, my noisy neighbor banged on the car okay. window and then started to scream. My dad came running out and a bunch of other people too. Then some of these people came and the police grabbed me and took me away from my dad. I don't know what all the fuss was about. You be she wasn't a woman, she was a demon. Why couldn't the police see that? Seven-year-old Emily Ritter was taken into custody Seven. today after allegedly killing police Ooh. officer Lisa Neely in the back of her car with a kitchen knife. Yeah, she's got problems. Then I had to see a judge and a bunch of people in their suits. Today, Emily Ritter goes on trial for the brutal killing of three women. The first victim was Mary Minor, who was in a relationship with Emily's father. The second victim was Karen O'Dell, Emily Ritter's school teacher and close friend. Stop. The last victim, Lisa Neely, was a police officer investigating the murders of Mary Minor and Karen O'Dell. She became romantically involved with Carl Ritter during her investigation and was pregnant at the time of her death. Emily was found covered in blood and holding the murder weapon in the back seat of Lisa's car. Lisa's body was in the front seat of her car. Police reports state that all three victims were stabbed repeatedly with a kitchen knife. Yeah. I had to go to courtroom over and over. It was really boring. Yeah. After one of the longest and most expensive trials the city of Franklin has ever seen, eight-year-old Emily Ritter was found guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. She is being taken to the secure unit in Franklin's psychiatric hospital for a full evaluation. I'll stab you all. They took away my knife, but Aww. I drank the demon blood from the body of the police lady, of so they couldn't take that I away from me. That. Now they keep me trapped here in this white room. It's boring because I don't get to see anyone. They don't even let me play outside. Thankfully, the angel came to see me. Yeah. She told me that I'd be getting out soon. I'm sorry to say I don't think you'll be leaving anytime soon. Yep, I will be, the angel said. Once I kill the last demon, she'll lift me out of these walls and take me to a safe place. Who's the last demon? You. What are you talking about? You said the demons were all women. No, I said all the demons were disguised as women, except for their master. Their master is disguised as a man. The angel calls this one Asmodeus. When I killed Asmodeus' minions, the angel told me it would come from me instead of my death because it was mad at me. That's okay. why you're here. Are you mad, doctor? That needle behind your back isn't a sedative. It's poison. I know because the angel told me. I'll have no problem killing you, though. He sent the guards away so you wouldn't get caught. But now, there's no one to help you. It's just you and me. Demon! You're so young, so innocent, so pathetic. Innocent? It's sad, really, this delusion you're living in. Well, that's right, Emily. You're living in a delusion and it's hijacking your life. You see, the truth is, you were never going to win. After I kill you, the devil will walk the earth once more. Oh, and I'm sorry about your mom. It's nothing personal, but for obvious reasons, I had to get rid of her. Pause. Alright, you good. Okay. Kill it! Oh, it can kill me. I wasn't expecting him to kill. Wait, don't kill me! 
Okay. That's as easy as tactic dodge. That's as hard as. I'm good at this. I will fucking kill you. I think she got a little too close to the mic on that one. Okay. Yeah. I'm I don't like to that. Enjoy watching you die. I will. Too. It's kind of creepy, honestly. and I'll be performing a psychiatric evaluation on Emily. She clearly has some kind of severe neurological disorder, perhaps stemming from her mother's death. I've worked with many patients with mental disorders, but I've never had a case so severe and with someone so young. Her lack of guilt and remorse is definitely characteristic of a psychopath, but mm -hmm. she really doesn't exhibit any other psychotic behavior. The brutality of her crimes has fueled a media frenzy, which I believe could have a negative effect on her ego. A sweet little girl is hiding behind those glossy eyes. Why she kill him with her bare hands? I'm going to show the world that she's not the demon the media has made her out to be. There's only one thing I know to be certain. Emily will go down in history as the world's youngest serial killer. I quit my job at Franklin Psychiatric Hospital a week after it happened. Nothing can prepare you for something like that. You have no idea what it was like. The blood was everywhere. The, the floor, the wall, the ceiling. And her smile. She just sat there with a smile on her face. The whole time, just sitting there, smiling. You don't know what it was like to witness something like that. She was drinking the blood. That's weird. Okay. Are you guys planning on interviewing her? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go near her if I were you. She's the devil. No, no, I'm serious. She's the fucking devil. You don't believe me, do you? You will. Soon enough. You will. You will. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was weird. Anything to say? I don't know. It was a game. <laughs> 